costumers, Warrington filming, painting, decorating, trade secrets. And today I'm just going to do a little bit of a review on the brush make boxes and uh, I've got a little trade secret, so keep watching. Okay, first of all, we've got one of the old original brush boxes here. Now this is um, one of the first ones brought out and uh, it's the best one you can get. Although, I don't think you can actually find these anymore, but I'll just give you an overall. You've got metal bottom, metal surrounding, and a metal lid, okay? So the advantage with these old ones is it, the vapors have trouble getting out of this box. As long as you keep this lid in pretty good condition, uh, the actual brush mate vapors uh, bottom that you put in here um, will last quite a long while, okay? So that's one of the original boxes, but you might have trouble getting hold to these. You could probably try on eBay, see if somebody's so long, but very doubtful. Right, then we come over to the, uh, this is a pretty new brush made box. I think this is probably a year or two old. As you can see, they've changed them quite a lot now. You've got plastic bottom and a plastic lid. Now the disadvantage of these ones is, vapors do start coming out of the bottom. Because the actual vapour itself is quite strong, so it starts uh, bending and warping the plastic and vapours come out, especially with the lids. Plastic vapours attack the plastic and uh, they start bending out like that. So the vapours leak quite, quite a lot on these new boxes. Uh, also, you'll find that you have to keep topping up your, your fluid in these. Uh, quite often due to like the, the leakage of vapours, okay? Now, as you probably know, you get a little bottle like this of uh, brush made fluid. Normally retails at about 10, 12 pounds for that. So you don't get a lot for your money, okay? Uh, and that's, that, that's the brush made that goes inside these boxes. So now I've got a little trade secret for you. Not many people know this, and no doubt brush made won't be too happy that I'm telling you this, okay? Like I say, brush made fluid, you buy for about 10, 12 pound, okay? All you've got to do is get yourself on the internet, eBay or something like that, and get yourself some cellulose thinners, okay? Now that's a gallon, five litres of cellulose thinners. Uh, high vapour content on this does exactly the same job as the brush make fluid, okay? Now for this 5 litres, I went on eBay and I bought this for, I think it was £10 for 5 litres in a gallon. And uh, I should imagine this will last me 12 months if not more for a tenner compared to brush, uh, brush mates, brush fluid which is about, like say, 12 quid. Uh, if you don't want to buy a, a gallon, you can get cellulose thinners in a smaller container like that. I don't know what that costs, probably like three, four, five quid, if that, okay? So any cellulose thinners, the stuff that they use for, for bodywork on cars, that's all you need. Exactly the same stuff, or whether it's exactly the same stuff, I don't know, but it does exactly the same job high vapor content, okay? So that's your little trade secret. Don't buy this, get yourself a gallon for a tenner, okay? Does exactly the same job and lasts you a lot longer, obviously. But just bear in mind, you better buy a big tin like this, store it somewhere safe, not in the house, somewhere outside in your shed or coal, coal shed or whatever, okay, out, out, out of sunlight, etc. So that's basically a bit of a review on the boxes. If you can, try and get yourself a second hand brush made box, old metal one, a lot better. Try and avoid these if possible, but if you can't, uh, if you can't get one of these, get yourself one of these. I think these retail at about £70 though, so now, so they're quite, a, quite an expensive bit of kit. And when it comes to topping up your fluid, get yourself cellulose thinners or standard thinners, does exactly the same job, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to all my subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe yourself. Thumbs up, comments most welcome. Until next time, catch you later.